Uh, it was one of the first. Somebody, oh, Bill Clay. Bill. You know someone over there? It was Hans. Oh, Hans, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who Hans already wrote all this shit. He wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you said you did. I say a lot of things. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what we're back here. I should know yeah. that by uh, now. Uh, oh, jeez. Untrustable. <laughs> Start you in. Well, I can't get in. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Stevens Flying Circus. That's fantastic. <laughs> you have a theme song now. <laughs> oh, it's better than The Simpsons. I had that one year. <laughs> <laughs> I like the flying circus, so it, <laughs> so it seems great. so appropriate for the cruise. I did occur to me this morning, I was sitting there whistling it in the room. I was like, oh crap, this is perfect for Stevens. It, it is. <laughs> it is. So, I have to wait for um, Hans at some point. But, yes, I have, I have, before we get going, I have some gifts. <laughs> Ball. <laughs> but I didn't bring my lighter. <laughs> I have a gift for for all the developers. Oh, no. Here you go. Here you go, sir. Oh my God. Yes. One for you. Dude, my wife's gonna burn this when she second she sees it. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Developer yeah. conference. I know. It's, it's still it's way too close. Way too close. Oh, way too close. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Thank you. One for Hans. Oh yeah, it's good. That's good. It even fits my head. I think I'm bigger than you. Yeah. Oh, my wife's in the when she's Why? Yeah, I know. I thought it was a good slogan. Uh, it's, 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 uh, well, first of all, Amiga was always great. I know, exactly. Well, so was America. No, but this, no this, America was not always great. I can this, is, this is about making Amiga great. we got to get coding, right? Yeah. Make, Make is a yeah. It's a, those great puns. Those great puns. It's still, you know, it's that, it's that yeah. connection to that political. And on, on the back, you'll notice the uh, oh, URL. Oh, the wiki. The wiki. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that gets you started. See? <laughs> I just don't know that I could use this in the public. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry. Could you have written "screw Trump" on the back of this? I so said it no all question. the time, and uh, I have no trouble. You're in Canada. <laughs> oh, okay. I already have my own. Oh, wait. Hey, Stephen. Oh, didn't I get you? I was on a call. Oh, sorry. 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 No. I'm actually here. He's wearing his own hat, though. He's got. In fact, he should give us one of his hats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just had these. I only have two. <laughs> You're a sir. That's right. Thank you. Don't forget to wear it while you're coding. <laughs> <laughs> Coding hat. Oh, it's a coding hat. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Then shouldn't it have two beer holders on either side? Uh, we don't drink beer. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's have the best coding gets done. Uh, Drunk coding. All of yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drunk coding. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> I've worn out most of my shirts for coding days. <laughs> Break out the Amiga shirts when I'm trying to get a good coding day in. <laughs> Come on, dude. I have a uniform. <laughs> ah, it might be. Hey, it might be a know, while. No shirts. Uh, so shirt, apologies, shirt but this well, year, hopefully Alex will uh, have my face somewhat sometime it's today long because long uh, that's going to really be back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay so uh, Michael, do you want to start yeah. us off or uh, you want or Mark? <laughs> Mark is is more famous. Well, yeah, but you're you're really mine's, mine's short. You, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Leave it. Let's let's. But have you, you know the, the the rub is. Can I get out of your way then? No, I'll, you're fine. I got, I don't know what you're uh, thinking. Are you just gonna yak, or you got something? To point no, I'm just gonna yak. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
I was very surprised when Stephen asked me to do a thing on beta testers. Several reasons. One, everybody in the room knows more than I do. And it made me nervous. But it also made me laugh because ultimately, one of the things I discovered was I help a lot of other people even though they know more than I do. Also, one of the things I discovered when I was being involved with starting the beta test thing, ended up with a, a wiki uh, uh, thing that, that said something that really surprised me. It says, looking at the back of your 5,000 motherboard, find the 9-pin serial port. If you can't find the serial port, please return the board to Aeon, because beta testing isn't for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's serious. That's, that's awesome. That was very serious. That was in the wiki, and it surprised it uh, out of me, because the process is that I was really excited about being a tester, and I didn't know where the serial port was at the time. Now, there's several levels of beta testing, obviously, for all of us. Uh, one is even getting started. How do you know that there's a test going on? It's who you know, what you know, what you want to do with it. All those things get part of it. Probably we end up going through stuff when we're finally invited. Trevor and Matthew, in our case, is the people who invite us. But I've discovered since that there's more than one kind of beta test involvement environment where people are only invited and only very discreetly, which is a really interesting thing. Um, now, one of the things that people complain about on the beta list, I notice, is that a lot of the times they don't know certain things, they don't have certain things, and they don't want to get certain <coughs> things, but they want the thing to work well. So are they beta testers, or are they essentially consumers who just got in early? And it's a kind of interesting question. I'm a, I'm a consumer who got in early, but I also learned so much on this process because I wanted to improve my, my skills, including I can actually compile things now. Good, Yay. good, <laughs> make me good, great. But <laughs> um, I, I have, to, have to say one of the, the things about the beta testing stuff is that I asked a lot of questions and I ran into a lot of things. The, one of the first things I ran into, I got the machine, asked questions about the hardware setup, asked questions what was good, what was compatible, what wasn't compatible, and I realized pretty quickly I was on my own. Nobody really had the answers for me. They said, I have this, but nobody really across the line said, this is what always works. So I started testing. Now, that's part of testing. I discovered that I could report back and say, well, that didn't work. Does anybody else have this particular thing? And I was always careful to try to name the product, name the, 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 the series number, whatever it is it came into. But other people didn't. They just said, it doesn't work. And I couldn't get that. I couldn't figure out why they, they wanted to do that. So I, I, I started asking more and more questions. And the first thing I realized is I didn't even have a disk to boot from or anything to boot from. So I just had my, my pretty little machine sitting there, sitting there going, what do I do? What do I do? Who do I ask? And I couldn't figure out who to ask. I finally figured out there's a lot of things that I needed to find out on my own. I did eventually ask the right people. I did eventually get an ISO. Got, work, got it working at that level. And then the other questions started to come in. So essentially, I restarted beta testing several different times. And then ultimately, when I came back to this part, I had to do, I had, I, I, I jumped to this NDA thing. The NDA, I had to do the NDA thing long before I got to any of these other things. And I didn't know what the NDA meant. I, unlike you, I don't have many that I've signed. <laughs> uh, my marriage contract is the only one that. <laughs> it's the only meaningful one, anyway. <laughs> It more to lose. <laughs> a and, lot more. <laughs> and I got this wonderful little letter from a wonderful person in England telling me, welcome to the beta test system. Told me everything I thought I needed, it, it, it thought I needed to know. And of course, the first thing it did was open up the idea of what do I need to know. And one of the things I was supposed to do is set up a way to get essentially uh, protected files with PGP and, 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 and passwords and all this kind of stuff. That was all fun. But when I, I set, my, set mine in, I was at least a year behind the files. So even though I could get the files from that date forward, the older files I couldn't get. So I started having, the, and there's another wiki that says, if you don't have these files, you don't know where to get them, make a friend. <laughs> uh, in my case, Tony, Tony White was my friend. And every time I found a file I didn't have, I would write to him and he would send me a list of files. Finally, he got tired of me pestering him. So he sent a whole group of files all at once to the, to the miscellaneous uh, Hyperion site so we could all download them all at once. Yeah. And so that solved a lot of problems for lots of people because we had all these different files. Um, now, one of the things I discovered is my setup seemed to be different than other people's setups. Uh, Brian and, uh, and 
Bill, who are local Sacramentoans, are also being tested for the 5,000 program. One of the things I discovered was they set the machines up differently than I did. Uh, for example, Bill put everything on his main hard drive and he put his updates on his main hard drive. So he didn't, he didn't have what I would call a beta tester version system, which is just from the ISO and testing the new file. So I actually had a hard drive. My first hard drive was, was literally that ISO that I could put things on and off and see if it worked or didn't work. Then I had my own building hard drive, and actually knew separate hard drives, where I actually was adding stuff and was making it all my own, like I would at home, like a normal. And I had a third, I had the Linux system I was trying to test as well. And I would reconnect each SATA port, which is how I found out about how bad the cables were. I would re 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 reconnect the cables so they would boot, because I only had one SATA port for the bootable system, because it only has two SATA ports on the motherboard. Again, another learning curve. Then I learned to put in the extra SATA card, but I still, all I could really do with that is, 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 is follow other instructions. But I discovered early on, that because I was kind of the keeper of the, of the files for the local guys, uh, that I always had the ability to update people, both Bill and, and Brian, and update myself, but I also didn't lose the files from before, and I could test cleanly anything new that I tried. I'm gonna, like I went home last night, I downloaded your program, because I'm gonna try it. Uh, tonight, when I, I, try, I hear your talk, I'm going to try it. Um, it should be interesting. So, um, the how do you like when testers do your thing? Did you have your own testers? I started out with uh, Hobby and Rebus. I asked him to test it. Just installing forms, and he's doing a lot of testing already, so he knew he could do it. It's been with him probably a, at least a full year. Like this guy ever ran into. Okay. Oh, well. Well, now, oh, well. guys, this is the stuff I wrote down to talk about. It's all NDA. I can't ask, yeah. and, ask and talk about these things. So I, I have I have certain things highlighted that I can talk about. Well, you can, you can always pause. Isn't everybody here on NDA anyway? <laughs> no. Much. Or if they're not, they should be. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. Just, just two. Yeah. We can just kick them out. No, we can we can actually pause and, and do some pause. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We'd like to. Okay. The yeah, okay. IRC channel. Okay. The beta IRC channel has developers on it, end users, and people that are generally there. There's somebody generally there all the time. They may be lurking, but they're just hanging there. But it's possible then when you have simple questions about, hey, I got this, it's not working, or where do I need this, or I need this file, can somebody send it to me now? You can get it. You know, you don't have to wait for emails to go to the other side of the world and somebody to wake up and get to it. And, you know, you get a 20-minute turnaround on a question, not a two-day turnaround on a question. Um, Is so. the, the sign-up information location for the the uh the IRC channel on the uh, it's been posted. No, it's, I don't know it's, if it's, it's on the it's been posted. It's been posted as a private mailing list. Mailing list. We, we got we, anybody who's privately uh, anybody who's <laughs> anybody who's <laughs> right 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 gets, well, right gets, gets a letter saying, right. and here's your IRC right. information, and here's your password, and and and, uh, and thing. You have to sign a non-closure thing also. Well, you can do that. So you're starting beta time. You don't have to do anything to IRC. Oh, I thought you had to be on the beta. To get you on do there. have to be on the beta. But so once you've done that, you just get on there. Yeah, with your, with your name and password. Right. But, and they tell you, to, they, they do give you information that there's an IRC working as a beta test. Right. And I'm as timid on the IRC simply because I'm a pretty slow typer. And, um, well, that's okay. They're not seeing you type until you hit return, and then it just goes out. Yeah. You know. But it's like you go dark while you're doing typing and re-editing and typing and right. re-editing, and then finally you hit return, and the other people are asleep already. Right. You know, you also don't need to worry so much about how pretty or not what it is you type is. Mm -hmm. If you've been on there, you'll see some people, <coughs> you bro, <laughs> who just <laughs> fuck your sentences. I have no idea how he manages to compile anything the way he types. But it's like we just figured it all out and we say, hey, could you try that again, please? <laughs> and then you get it. Okay, well, uh, it's a new, so, that would be a newer yeah. tool for me. Uh, and, I, and the thing is, one of the things is that you're going to have trouble, I, I think you still have trouble getting people to use the tools like the uh, reporting sites for, for Mozilla. It's a new tool, you had to sign on, even the sign-up is cryptic, because you, when you sign on, you basically have this name that's kind of supposedly set up for you, but you don't know what it is, but, so you have to go in there and change it so you can use it yourself.
Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's not a good part of the signing. Didn't, that part of the letter didn't work. Um, and so there's there's critiques along the way that, that would have been a little easier. Uh, if, instead of a one part email, it probably needed a five page email of this. <laughs> I've always kept. Yeah, yeah, the question there's is, you had multiple drives. Yeah. And then there's the yeah. AMC. How come uh, you didn't try to put it all in one drive? I did, actually. Oh, you did? Yeah, I actually partitioned uh, one drive. But first, first, one of the things I, I didn't want to protection later, I partitioned one drive to see if I could set up different Google partitions and do it that way. I, I just had trouble choosing between the, the partitions. <laughs> It should have been easier using the, uh, the two mouse button technique at the beginning and choosing the Google partition, but it, it didn't. It wasn't as simple as when you reboot and you came back up again, they, they would fight with each other. So I, I found it was really nice to have a clean drive to keep adding stuff. Um, that, that's my thing. I also had trouble with SSDs. Um, I couldn't get them to work correctly. So I tr again, that's part of the testing bar. I, I own things that I didn't know I was going to own. At this in my life, so uh, and some of it came out of my other pieces, but so still, there's stuff I have to learn. Quick question about partition. Are you doing that select drive? So it's six drives in session. I have a different drive. In my case now, I have different drives. I did have different partitions. And yes, I wanted to choose between what I call the version of wood partition, which is just the OS that we have to work with from the ISO. And then I have my own kind of everything already added on, all the different tools, all the different things I bought, the programs I bought. Yeah. And then a third one, which used to be Linux. Now, now it's actually kind of a OK, so you're using the same Kickstart files mm -hmm. for all of those Except the language, of course, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay, let's just change this. If, if you're trying, if you're doing that, like if you have multiple kickstarts mm -hmm. layouts, you can actually assign in the kick layout file, you can say this kickstart layout use this boot partition by default. Yeah. So I, can't I didn't know. I, 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 did, I, no, I didn't know that at all. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. Which, I mean, because if you're testing multiple different click stats mm -hmm. on different uh, drives or partitions, then it's really annoying having to, to hold down both maps both every time. Which is why I switched to just leaving the case open and pulling the cable. Yeah. Yeah. I pull the data cable and you know, that's, then I'm, I'm clean. Yeah. yeah, it's a little more of a mess, but because the drive itself is really the drive what, what I want on it, yeah. I don't mess it up. Yeah. Uh, sometimes when you, you're working, and, and one time, of course, that's the reason I blew away the third drive. I forgot, and I, I formatted it because I was going to re re refresh the version drive to a fresh standard, and I took out the third drive instead of the yeah. Now, I also, one of the early mistakes I made was I took out the, I actually formatted it in Linux, I formatted the 4 gig card. It came up on, on part partition, purchase manager, and I didn't, I didn't think twice that it was the, the little 4 gig card. I thought it was the, the hard drive. I go click. Like, boom, oh, and then I restarted and flashing red light. And again, Tony said, well, well it just means your four, your four G card has been twisted up somehow. You know, and then I said, okay, how do I do this? <laughs> how do I fix the four G card? And so that was another great testing self-learning lesson that I got through. Uh, and I didn't want to ask Tony how to fix, how to fix it, because I wanted to see if I could do it myself, which is, Maybe good, maybe bad, depending on, on what goes. your point of view, yeah. what you're trying to do. Right, so I, I discovered what I could do, and I did, I did it on a machine, where I basically had the file and used a, a, a program to essentially load it onto, uh, it's kind of like the one that Tony wrote, but it's, it's for PC. Yes, yes, um, uh, there's, there's a PC, so, Linux version, DD. Yeah, DD is the Linux version, yeah, but I, I used, I used, uh, I used the, the Windows version. Rebirth of the yeah, whatever card, it's called. or whatever it's called. I rewrote the four card, put it back in, back in. And, and, and move forward. Yeah. So there's there's a lot of mistakes you can make yeah. and hurt yourself, and then you go, what do I do? Uh, in some cases, you, you, if you don't have the perseverance right. to keep looking for the tool, you may not even know there's a tool. 
Uh, yeah, for example, one of these, I just sort of said there's a tool, I think there's a tool that I didn't know about in you uh, that you can look for uh, to reset the CPU and a couple of things that I didn't know about. Um, so that's nice. Because <laughs> I was wondering if I needed that to do work with yours. In case your four-gig card was gone. Um, you guys anything else? No, it's pretty good. It's pretty comprehensive. The only thing that I, I would say is at some point I would uh, I think it would be useful if you could type that up in your list of concerns about things being documented. Mm -hmm. and One of the knowledge complaints that we've had in the youth discussion over the past couple of years has been this sort of lack of hidden filter. Because a lot of this just makes up is self-explanatory. You create a bunch of account, then you go in and you say, here's what I did to create it, here's the versions involved, here's the steps to recreate, here's the debug data. I, and we know who the developers are, and we know who the areas are, so we, it's not a problem to the designers to do is more done. But for people who don't know which developers are, and what they typically work on, and they don't know how to collect that data. No one actually said, for example, like one of the one of the critical things that you need to include in the debug report are the exact steps that you took to create the problem. And whether it's recreatable, it's recreatable, it's really helpful. So then they can take a look at the version of the software you're running and go back and try to recreate it themselves. And, start and, that, and that's how Tony figured out that it wasn't his problem. Yeah. I had just changed to next next generation FS, and I said, you know, I did. I think it's this. And he says, no, that's, that's not what you should be doing. It has to be said, no, T tell me again how you did it. And so we went through. And, and it took some time to write it correctly to say to him, I did this, I did this, I did this. And he says, no, no, that's, prob that's probably Colin. Talk to Colin. So, I mean, the things the things that you're talking about may seem obvious in, in hindsight, but it's not necessarily obvious oh, not to, to people because they haven't been newbies for a decade. So it's it's really useful to go ahead and if you can type that up and maybe post it to mailing list or give it to his soliness or something can, and they can and it can be <laughs> so it can be can be <laughs> <laughs> I like the wiki idea. That's why I suggested it. And you're right. That, and the other thing is there are other wiki things that are only accessible through the through the realm. Yeah. And if you if, when I was going to present this, I realized that I was going to I was going to print them out and hand them out. But I said uh -huh. they're out of the realm, so they're all. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, so I couldn't print them out. In fact, I had to think twice about whether I should take the quote out of it and, and you know, tell you guys about it. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Was that your quote? No, but I found it quite amusing when I found it too. <laughs> but you can, but you can, you can, you can edit stuff on the video. Yes, I can. Yeah. And just, just you, you can post it there if you want to. I just, yes, I, I just wanted to have that documented. This is, I'm new at this, and this is my experience, and this is what I think needs to be fixed. You know what's funny? I still feel very new. Uh, I've had the machine for I, 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 I did too, man. I don't know squat. I have one comment. You're the most active beta tester from the moment. You're kidding. From all of the stuff I say on the beta forums, mm -hmm. you, and, and you ask the right questions. And some of the things you're talking about there, it's true. You know, Tony Wyatt is so knowledgeable. Um, you asked the question about how many kickstarts you got. Now, that really confused the hell out of me at one stage because if you've got multiple kickstarts, it chooses the first one. No matter what you've set up, as you. Correct. That's the one he goes to. Goes oh, to yeah. first. Yeah. Right yeah. on that myself. Yeah, and and you think, oh, why am I on this? Why am I on this yeah. this, this petition? I'm I've chosen something yeah. else. That's why he's doing it to mouse buttons as well. Yeah. You can actually deactivate drives that got kickstart on. Yeah, it's I can't remember where I read it, but you can in the kick layer. You, you can, can say. Everyone you says need to you know. Everyone no. says you can do that. So right. like, yeah, you do that. You put all in one kick layer, right. and you just choose the one. Yeah, but how do you, no, how do you get nobody, that? Nobody doesn't tell you how to do that. Yeah. Nobody's ever come up with a summary for that. I've heard no. about this for 15 years. It's, that you can move <laughs> off of different partitions and different drives, and it's like, if that first kickstart doesn't load, you're screwed. Exactly. And it's like, it is yeah. such a mess. Well, I've like, been a mess all along. Well, <laughs> well, there's another unique thing that I think you may, may, right. may no, like. I mean, it always happens. I mean, because literally, I just swap drives. You know the way to do it. Exactly. Because it, it's frustrating the because you get confused the next with the crazy. And oh, yeah, well, it's even better when you load the kickbook, start the modules off one thing, and, and then it boots the system on the system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. putting stuff there. That's what that's happened to me in the first time to you. This system here, I to beta later. But it hasn't started to start to rise. It keeps grabbing other things. Thank you. I know it's a beta later. Guys, thank you for listening. I'm sorry I bored you. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I didn't get to it. Well done. Thank you, Mike. There's your 10 minutes. You have a fat welcome email over here. Here we go, 10 minutes. No, no, it's generated. Okay.
have to generate it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, the general instructions are there. Yeah, because I never got that email when I first. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> no, yeah, you should have got one. I, I got it later. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the, the sort of the stuff that doesn't change. Yes. Yeah. That really should. Be you think it? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Yes. <laughs> thank you. That's a good idea. Yeah. Well, thank you. I told you you know more than you think you know. <laughs> I, you know I, I, I come away with it. I wrote several things to myself that I gotta ask questions now. I'll, 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 I'll put stuff up about that picture thing really yeah. fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Let's see here, how are we doing? Yeah. Oh. That was more yeah. than ten minutes. Yeah. See? Sorry. What do you mean? You can have all the time you need. <laughs> <laughs> so uh Mark, did you want to do your little spiel yet? I don't have for this. I was going to do a Saturday. Oh, you want? Oh, you're going to do it outside of the dip. All right. Oh. Okay. Mark, you want to do it today? Mark, you want to do it today and Saturday? Please. You do. <laughs> well, see, Saturday we might miss it. Too. Yeah, I'll miss it because I'll be working. <laughs> and it's really uh, quite a unique tool that one. Quite a unique one. Would you be uh, interested in? Uh, Showing some of the source, for example, and some things where you'd like to see improvements or some some uh, issues, for example, with uh, DOS or reaction or something that was tricky for you. Just do it on the fly, that kind of thing, or not? You'd rather prefer, you'd rather okay, yeah, it's, 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 it's up to you. I mean, I'm, I'm just thinking about it. Because... Your hmm? You can use this one. I hopefully hopefully I have all the right versions of the of the stuff that you need. So if it doesn't uh, work exactly right, that's fine. <laughs> Who wrote that? Oh, that? I can't remember. Could have been me. But <laughs> I, <laughs> you like that? Or more than once. 
system. I didn't want to have something fixed working now. I have it, but no one else does in the public. So either I can ride for it and not release the diversion for six, seven, eight months until it becomes available. So I get on the system and know about it and have it and can't take advantage of it. Yeah. That will slow me down a little bit as far as getting these things fixed. That small little quirks. That like you have this fixed on mine. Oh, yeah. Slide the update. minutes you on slides forever. So you gotta get this one. <laughs> 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 is the bug with the list you gadget or is it with something yeah, else? Yeah, list gadget. The, the horizontal scroll bar. Mm -hmm. Didn't like, actually, it's didn't like this slider here, but it was. What is that? Oh, that slider is because it's too copper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, with that being font issue, when accommodating, I'm not sure what you said exactly, but uh, 
That was Tony. Haunted, uh, no, Frederick. Oh, Frederick. On this one. Okay. You fix that and this. I fix this. Oh. But this is still an issue with me. This is based on percentages of actual pixels. You resize the window. It grows. It shrinks. Yeah. I like it. Don't like that. <laughs> how, do you, how do you reset it? That's just that stationary. I ran into the, the same problem with the, on the SDK browser for that, trying mm -hmm. to save the preferences so that it comes back exactly the way the user wants it. And I can't get that divider to, to reposition back to where the user last had it. Mm -hmm. I was trying to see the you know, window, window dimensions, the window get dimensions. Shouldn't that be possible awesome? to like do a layout group yeah, for yeah, the yeah, column yeah. on the left, no, you're not then have enough. the border, the <laughs> divider, and then another group on the right? Or yeah, but with respect, you shouldn't have to create all these nested layout gadgets yeah. to, to do that. That's just nuts. Oh, that's how it's yeah. supposed to work. Yeah. Are you serious? Yep. As many as you like. Yeah. No, I, I, I won't I, slow it down. No, I know, but I, mean, I don't understand why we have to instantiate all these different nested that's, layouts. That's the, that's the way it's designed. Yeah. Well, because you can set the fixed width on the layout. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you use the yeah, fixed width with you the left side. You fixed width with the layout. Okay. Okay. This is supposed to be the a dynamic column layout. on the left yeah. in the layout. But you want it. Right. You want it to fix it. Right. You don't want it to fix size. Fix size. You don't want it to fix size. You want to be able to yeah. set it back to the same. Put smaller back. You set it up to the same stud. Right. I hear you. Right. Or do you want them in? Why? You want it to fit. Oh, I thought you wanted to yes, so but if it fits on the screen that they had it opened on and they saved right it there, I just want to put it back to that exact same position. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, well, you can't do that. Why? It's percentage based. It's, oh. it's against the architecture. Can you? The you user's in control, not like that. No, but the yes. user wants it a certain no, way. Well, you can't have it. Well, that's just messed up, man. It doesn't work. What if they, if they were, if he were to say, the user can say snapshot at that point, it gets the yeah. setting. Yeah, the I mean, that's exactly then goes in, it. sets the gadget, refreshes the GUI, and from there on out, no, that's that, that the but That would be a new feature that doesn't exist. You can't go you try and make it work, and it doesn't exist. Right, but you can't change the config of the of intuition, and then have it rebuild the intuition go. No. No, that doesn't exist. That's what I'm saying. Never did. So, <laughs> not till now. Right? Maybe it's a feature to add. Right? Well, we didn't have we didn't have these draggable gadgets before either. Oh, well, they've been there a long, long time. How long? That device I could do it. Fire bar, I think. Class act could do it. That's where this is from. You're kidding. Yeah. I thought this was new to the release for us. No. That's why no one else was complaining about it. Maybe 20 years. One thing I would do in Jimmy was uh, yeah. close the window. But what is it? There's a number of dimensions. That get dimension. Yeah. It's percentage, fair percentage. Right. Before you reopen it, let's kind of look at what the safe position on the window size was. Guesstimate. Might be a little bit off each time. Yes. But you never get it right. Yeah, and I was I I'm sure I was trying the same technique. I'll have to look at the source code because it's been so long, but I I was trying to do something very, very similar yeah. to that to lay it back out. And then and I, I know that sometimes you have to reconstruct, you know, in a, a specific order. You know, with the with the GUI builder, it's constantly working on uh, the actual real gadgets. And sometimes mm -hmm. the only way to change them is to destroy them and recreate them with, with new settings because not everything's 100% that right. You know, so I was trying to, and but fortunately it's very, very fast. Yeah. So that's it's great. That's what I was wondering. But uh, yeah, that's, 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 that is one I've been trying to, try to nail settings. down is so how to get that. Oh, you're, 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 you're trying to put something in there that doesn't exist, right? Well, I'd also like it to be collapsible. You drag if you, if you, you drag it all the way to one edge, it's a little resistance, and then pop, it goes away. Oh, completely. And then you grab it and bring it back. Should you be writing these easy. things down? Yes, sir. Yes. Because you want a divided view most of the time, but sometimes you want everything out of the way. Yeah. That's, that's why you, you want explicit, 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 explicit yeah, gadget sizes. Yes. And, um, actually, four. That, that's why you want dual mod. That's <laughs> what the enhancement <laughs> That's the feature I like. You mean workbench across to a monitor? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Four that's monitors. Think right, right, right. Can't greedy right away. <laughs> <laughs> if you could do more than one, you can do them all. <laughs> it's users, yeah. <laughs>
This doubles your testing. No, oh, it deal. works <laughs> for me. <laughs> Steve, That's the worst thing you'll ever see in a bug report. How would I? Is that me? <laughs> so what I want here, so you've got this draggable bar, right? So that draggable bar is going to have to exist in its own separate layout. Well, it's a component of the layout. No, it's a, it's a gadget itself. So. It is a gadget. Yeah. Okay. No, I know it's a gadget, but I'm trying to figure out how you would do it so that it would be fixed. But you're saying don't even bother with that. Don't bother. You, you can't go backwards on a percentage basis. So you, once, once, once the user says, I want it here at a certain number of pixels, then you're going to constantly have, every time the, 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 the layout gets resized, you're going to have to constantly go back and try to backwards figure out what the percentage is that you want. Well, that's just stupid. It's, it's still only a guess, and it, don't, it doesn't hit. And it's not, and it's not accurate either. Well, it's it always going to be awful, yeah. although it's going to be really you'll frustrating. Have yeah, you'll have round you don't find any problem with this at all? No, mm -hmm. it's just how it works. Well, I'm saying it's not a problem. Why can't it be, ch why can't it be changed? Well, it can. But, but, but you're sorry. trying to make it work, and it will never work. Right? So, okay. Don't it try. can. That's right? what we have developers for. Don't try. Make it it's work. Your time. Right? Make <laughs> it work. Well, now they're going to add a feature. That's right. That's Do it. That's the way to approach it. Don't, don't fight and fight and fight. <laughs> You'll never win. <laughs> I haven't stopped this so far. I know. The snap stop. Just a waste of time. <laughs> so, if yeah, you, you run, we run into a gadget that doesn't we'll do something we want, then we just tell you and you have it. Yeah. Every combination, everything goes on. No, no, no fight. No, no, no. What's, what's the expected turnaround on that? Depends <laughs> how much money you have. You, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good question. But it's interesting that it broke in that, this way. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> you could, you could, you could also make your own. This thing happened on the forums, so yeah, I went round and round about this, and yeah, try and tweak things, and no, you, you won't win. <laughs> and, and so now you have a definitive answer, at least. Right, I have had, but yeah. in the back of my mind, it's like if you're figuring out percentages, anyway, you're figuring out this kind of anyway. So why can't I say keep it at 150 pixels? I know, but yeah. Well, you're already tagging tag and it's done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One more tag. Just tag and tag it's done. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say it. Don't fight it. <laughs> okay, so what after that you you went to what? Pretty much gave up on it. Just kept going plowing through my own ideas and such. And uh, I always felt that the opus and file were pretty generic. As far as cosmetics go, additional features, um, preview. So I wanted to take it and put it on steroids and add tabs. I've heard both good and bad about that. Some are diehards, don't want tabs, they want two panes. They want the tabs and two panes. <laughs> the pane thing is so hard to do though in uh, reaction. Multi panes is painful. <laughs> I find. Well, I yeah, find it painful. So you can have multiple copies of it. Here's your two panes, and as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> you can't drag and drop between the two. That's a reaction issue. You can drag on the desktop into yeah, it. Speaking of requests, <laughs> yeah, drag and drop, please. It's too generous. <laughs> there are a lot of ways around that. So did you take looked into? Did you take most of your like your, of your of your ideas away from Director <laughs> Opus and did you look at Lister or whatever it's called? Uh, not Fire. really. I actually looked at Windows with Clover tabs, just your basic file explorer. I had a Best Buy one day looking at computers. Walked around the Apple table, stopped with the bears. There's an idea. There's an idea. There's an idea. Just kind of took them. Mine all in one. Hopefully, I got everything I could think of that is missing, I think. Well, in the Amiga world, there's lots of things missing from them, especially the older ones. Right. Um, but we're, we're in a habit of using them. Mm -hmm. So That's we, the walls I want to get to. So, so, so yeah. step in away. So, we need a way to, to know how to use yours to replace them. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm still, I, I, I still don't get the interface. I still don't get the interface even from here. This is very, it's a very Windows Explorer it's style. Right. right. With the Even Mac, the, the 3D drives. Well, that's a bit more Mac 
to me as well. So it's a kind of a so it's like it's like cascading through things like boom, boom, like the lowest level, next level, next level. No, there's no tree. I hate trees. Okay. It just stays here. And it bothers your holders. So it doesn't cascade. It just does the one you selected. Big branching out of trees here, I think, becomes very clustered. You can lose where you're at. I don't think it's visual. You can't see behind if you're too deep. The slightest take the one level up here, so, your bar, your path. Uh, how do you add different volumes or, or you know, high different volumes then on your computer display? You got clone, ram disk, we're French, da, da, da. I see signs is separate. So if you click on that, you get all the, the whole assigned room? Yep. Well, okay, there you go. Old ones are right. So let's say you want to add a, you want to bookmark a, a, a specific location, you know, and add it to the left column. What do you do? Right. That? You add to your papers. So right. you want to add uh, a class system. Over here, favorites, add favorite. You can give it your name. There's your drawer. Okay. Very nice. You can also give right click context off of the, the papers or computer itself. Not yet. You think about that though? Yes. Yeah. Not sure what the problem is running into is what to add, what not to add. Well, if there are blank lines here and get to the levels, it's hard to keep track of when you're hovering over. Keep it right on the one you want. Because if say like you don't want to add this signs, offer you the format. Right. On yeah, you want in unique uh, right. context for each one. Yeah. Did it over here. Did that with an assembly language clip once. It's easier to do because over here you have to select it first. Something. Yeah, but yeah. By selecting it makes a difference. But when you're hovering over you have to your kind of generic different menu, refresh. When you fix something, it changes the menu. Is the hovering an MUI thing or is that a, a Reaction thing. We're this is a reaction. I asked for that too, and or from Frederick. I prefer it's called uh, it light light up, light hover. As you move down here with the mouse, oh. you know, like a light blue highlight. That's your current one. You select, right click them. It actually <laughs> assumes you want this item. Oh yeah, the the grouping. Right. Yeah, there's some kind of you select. Things and then there's like uh, the active thing. Right. It's kind of two yeah. states to it. Right. Yeah. Well, it's a lighter color. Yeah. It's yeah. Active, but it, that's where you're going to yeah, that's get your context in your core. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Right. So, that kid did that. Have you done all of this within the uh, the standard uh, gadget then? I know this is the latest version, but yes. this, is, this is all just manipulating with, with pure class. Class. all classes. Yeah. 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 Nothing it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing tweaked. So nothing extended off of what's right. available within within uh, right. what you did add is that pick flow gadget. It's included with the archive, it just pulls it in. You need to be installed or anything, you just know look nice. both places. Yeah. That's what's show you work. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's try it. <laughs> no. I do like the usage graph oh, something for uh, on there. And the more and the more details you get across the, right. the columns very nice. Yeah. One thing I did like is uh, on Windows, I want to say that way, but there are different options of view styles. Feature, oh. Interesting. Yeah. Break it down to different styles. If you go into the, and each one can be its own view style, each location. Favorites can be different, computer, FTP, your locations. Different That's numbers. a really awesome example code. <laughs> how did you, you know, it's like, yeah, right. How did there's like so much right. stuff you're doing that right. just, I don't know how to do it. Where do you say <laughs> to keep track of the different profiles for each location? In the trust file. Originally, I had it. You made a single change and saved the prefs file. Yeah. I didn't realize that it was actually becoming a very Busy project in the background. Yeah. Until someone brought up a Scoop DOS. Yeah, I never had it running. And it's like, yeah. why is it saving this every 30 seconds? You know, and why if I change one thing and save the preps again? It's like, 
it's supposed to because you told it's automatic. You know, it remembers what you want. But they brought up the fact that it was actually very busy in the background. I didn't notice that my X5000 was so fast. But um, some more guys appeared. It was like, I see a slogan now. I had to change it. Are you getting a lot of input from classic people? Yes. They want to see a demo of it. They want to see it on their OS3, but I started on OS3. I maxed oh, out. <laughs> I got to a certain point where yeah. SAS wouldn't compile anymore. It was too big. Yeah. And now you have to reverse not worth the pain. Right. right. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you getting any input from OS4 guys? A lot. Good. Uh, it's kind of tapered down now. It's kind of they're kind of getting used to it and seeing more and more of it, using more and more. So they're getting used to it, less and less questions. Uh, most things now are, here's a new feature I added. They like it, they don't like it. A few comments here and there. Nothing mm -hmm. major. You charge money or not? No. No. Yeah, I think I asked you, why is it in the Andy store? <laughs> <laughs> there's donations. Yeah, there's a donation. <laughs> yeah. I've got a few. Oh. So you, are you calling it shareware or freeware? Or? Freeware. It's freeware? Okay. Yeah. Why? I mean, that's right. Why isn't it an end? Oh, I mean, you put a lot of work in it. It's a zillion hours of work. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> that me up, you know, it's, it's a pay. It's like, I've got people using it, the yeah. whole potential, liking yeah. it. They like it, appreciate it, donate, great. You know, it's fine. Email's fine, like your program. You know, just the uh, motivation. You know, it's, it's my hobby. It's, not trying to get rich off it, you know, never intended to. You're not trying to get any money at all, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've probably gotten uh, a handful of money? Maybe $300. So. No, that's not good. All right, but. Wow, you wouldn't expect to get real money. Yeah, well, I got a few bucks in 10 years. <laughs> what, for Ranger? Yeah. I sent you money. Well, I think, I think it was my, you did. It was my money. And, and Trevor, that was. <laughs> <laughs> After 10 years. <laughs> you made more, but you made some money. You you did, 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 oh, yeah, tons. That's, <laughs> that's the way to make money, yeah. You actually, you, you say tons. Oh, yeah. You we're we're, we're talking money? like triple digits. <laughs> you made over $100 with Ranger? Way over. You know, really? Like, yeah. That's terrific, man. Yeah. yeah. As soon as it was on there. You should have charged more than five bucks. Yeah. Good. I didn't even want to charge oh, yeah. that. Well, that's what it's kind of a bit of a buy transaction. If you, 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 you make a successful award, you can still do anything else. Of dollars? Wow. Take my wife out for pizza? Yeah. Well, one pizza is pretty expensive. That's amazing amount of uh, reaction code. It really is. Like, I, I, I think I should pick your brain on all the API faults. <laughs> I mean, we, we know about the slidey bar thing that never right. did do much, but the, <laughs> the other stuff, right? <laughs> if you really have to try to use it to find the faults. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you've probably found all sorts of interesting parts in there. Well, right here, this sword arrow is yeah. backwards. Ah, oh, there you go, see? Is it? Yeah. Cascading up or cascading down, right? Ah. The original one has it backwards. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it has been that so way all the time. you have to go in and use the reverse. The default icon. Right. Well, the original thing. Well, as far as extra bucks I liked was my, new, my preview gadget. I wanted from day one. Okay, that's good. Over here. <laughs> Preview what? The way of looking at pictures or any file. Oh. Moves around. And with thumbnails, it's going to slow down, of course, it's actually making thumbnail. Paper image. And get thumbnail and details. What gadget are you using for the thumbnail? Or are you just instantiating, like, uh, are you using data types to do that? Or are you using one of Thomas's things? Uh, based on Thomas Wraps. Um, yeah. Did that tweet this more. Um, what did he do? It's like a picture of you guys. Oh. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on his it's on his website. Oh. Okay. I think it all, I think it works also under Class Act for OS3 as well. Uh, if I remember correctly. The film strip is like the top.
Thomas Hawkeye made with his pick flow gadget. That is very nice and macky. It is. Cool. <laughs> so, doesn't have to. We're running into a fancy 3D thing. Not supposed yeah. to do it. Well, hold on. I think he's actually got a 3D mode, don't you? Yeah. You can change it. What? Yeah. Whoa. That goes yeah. Show him the 3D mode. Yeah. 3D, 3D. We're running out here. My card should be able to take it, I hope. <laughs> Preview, though. Uh, I don't know what version of the rating on drive you're I got it, maybe? Just not changing myself. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's 3D effect. Reflections. There we go. Reflection. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, that's oh, one of them. Now we're going to see it smoke. Oh, it's got to rethink it. Uh, right, there's the gadget. This is blowing on, too. Why it's not recording the location? Well, it does do the drawers. It's not really smooth yet. You need lots of images. It doesn't need this in. He needs a faster the processor. Too small. He, he, he needs a faster processor to demo on. I think so. No. <laughs> this is all you need. <laughs> there we are. There we are. Oh, 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 oh. Where? Nice. Oh, kind of well, how do you do the wave? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> kind of yeah, it's not really <laughs> it's for now, but it's right. there. It's there. I wonder if maybe that should show like five images or something. That way you'd be able to see more of the angle. It's kind of odd because yeah. I'm lying. It does. Uh, well, make the window shorter. Like, uh, it's kind of cross. And it's, 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 you can't figure out why it does it sometimes, but it doesn't. Oh, it's you the work of the gadget? Right. What if you make the overall window size shallower? Make it wider. There it is. Yeah. Bring it up. It's odd. Like that's how it's supposed to look. There you go. That's that's kind of uh, a magic. It doesn't like it so much. It's a little slow. Oh. Yeah. 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 
totally need to make a, a video on how to play it. Actually, yeah, it really is because the thing is, is that all it's it, it's deceptively simple, right? The idea is, is I'm interrupting Mark. I'll, I'll be quiet. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. Uh, I kind of built the creepy paint. You kind of main focus point. So you can do your images. You have text in that. A lot, a lot more. I'll go into that uh, Git clone. Exactly. Right. Why load an icon image of the 